Hey guys, Phoenix Mac here, and today we'll be showing you how to build this raft base with Dino Transport and Arc Survival Ascent. I'll be using creative mode for the sake of the tutorial, but this can all be done with engrams under level 30. I'll list the materials needed, then we'll jump into it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put down your ref. Then you wanna access your ref. You're gonna to go to options, hide sale. And so we need to lower our foundation. So we need a wood fence foundation and instead of full alignment mode, we're gonna hold and put it in a free placing. And we're gonna put it right at the hole there. Try to line it up as best you can. Just like that. Then we're going to put a pillar at the end. And then you're going to place down your foundation. Now, you're going to have a couple snap points. You're going to have this one snap point over here. And then you're going to have this other snap point by the pillar. You want the one where the pillar is at. Okay, pick up your pillar. Pick up the fence foundation. And then we're going to put down the rest of our foundation. Don't put one right here at the steering wheel. So in total, you should have eight foundations down with no foundation on the back right here. Then off the back side, you're gonna take your ceilings, one, two, and then you're gonna fill in this spot here. Don't fill it in over the steering wheel, that spot here. So it should be six ceilings in total. Bro. Then take a stone roof. We're going to snap it at the bottom here. Now, what you want to do is you want to press E, flip, and you be upside down. Now, the only reason for this is just uh, I like it. <laughs> you, can, you can put it the other way if you want to, but I kind of like how that looks. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So then you have two ramps coming off the side. Now you want to fix this hole right where the steering wheel is at so you don't fall in. And you're just going to put another stone roof here. This time we're going to flip it this way. You can't fall in now. You want to move to the front of the boat now and you're going to take the stone quarter ceiling and you're going to change it to the stone triangle ceiling. And you're going to place your triangle here. You're going to do a row of them. And then you're going to do a second row. So it should be eight triangle ceilings in total. You don't have to do this part. This is more for aesthetics, but you're going to drop into the water. And then you're going to have your walls, your stone walls. And you're going to place them on the outside underneath of the triangle ceiling. They're a little tricky to place. So now you want to come to the back of the boat. You want to have your dino gates to snap right where you put your stone roots. So you have one, and then two. Now you want to fill in the back. You're going to build up too high with stone walls. Now you want to head to the front of the boat and you're going to use the stone triangle roof. Now this is a little difficult, you just have to find the snap point, but you want it to angle in this way. And it'll be like that. So now you're just going to do that 
to this corner here and do it to this corner here, the stone triangle group. Some of them are going to be upside down and that's okay. Then you want to take the stone triangle roof, change it to the stone roof corner, and then you're going to fill in your sides. You might have to move it around a little bit. It's a little weird, but just keep cycling through your snap points. You'll find it. You do want them angling inward. Now you may have a tough time with this last piece here. So what you may need to do is you may need to pick up the gateway, place down a corner, place down another corner, pick this last corner up on the end, and then place your gate back down. Just like that. You want this wall straight with the edge of the actual foundation. And when you're done with that side, do the other side. When you're all done, you should have something that looks like this. Then you want to place some walls down, separating the front from the back. We're gonna place one here on the side, and then we're gonna place another on the other side. Make sure the wood is facing you. And then in, in the center, we're going to change this to a double door frame. Then you wanna take the quarter wall railing and you're going to put six up top. Head to the front of the boat and then place a stone triangle ceiling right at the top. Then you wanna fill in the rest of the ceiling with regular stone ceilings. It'll be pretty dark in here, but this is what it should look like. And here's an outside view. Now you can place your base items however you want inside the base. You're gonna make sure that you're in free placing mode when you're placing some of these items. You're just going to try and push them up against the wall as far as you can. But right now we're this close and it doesn't work so well. So we're going to move this back until the pot turns green. Now I usually put my pot up in the corner first because it's just such a weird shape. But you wanna make sure you can access it all right. And then place your other items. Again, you're going to kind of do the same thing. You're just going to bring it to the wall and pull it out as far as you can. And like I said, you could decorate your base however you want to. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you can access everything. Now just place all your doors. And you're done. If you wanted to add more light in the base area, you can replace the ceilings with greenhouse ceilings if you have the resources for it. And it'll give you a little bit more light. And something as large as a Therizino can fit in here. You have complete visibility and you can store some dinos. What dinos do you plan to bring with you on your adventures? Leave a comment down below. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more Ark Survival Ascended boat builds and tutorials.
Thanks for watching. Happy sailing.